Hi everyone, this video is posted on the request of one of our subscriber and it is with respect to answering the last question. Today, we will try to design a simple and smart security alert system. That is, if a person gets into a restricted area, then we will get an alarming sound. You can also call it as a theft alert system. We will try to explore new components which we have not used in our earlier videos. So, to design a circuit, first get into the Thinkercad login as usual. Here, click circuits, then click create new circuit. First, we will give a name to the circuit. We will give it as theft alert system or a smart security system. Now we will look into the components needed for designing the circuit. First is the Arduino board. Next is a sensor to sense when a person enters a restricted area. For this, click all here, then look for a sensor. You can use either ultrasonic sensor or PAR sensor. The difference between these two sensors is that ultrasonic sensors use sound waves to measure how far is the object or the person. Whereas PAR sensor uses infrared rays or the IR rays to determine whether an object or a person is present or not. So, if you need to know whether an object or a person is present in the vicinity or not, then we can go in use of a PAR sensor. And if you want to know the distance at which the person or the object is operating, then you can go in use of an ultrasonic sensor. For this application, it is preferable to use a PAR sensor because it is a motion sensor which detects the presence of a person. You can choose a breadboard. The next component needed is a buzzer. This buzzer helps you in giving an alarming sound. Next you can choose an LED. This is optional. It is just to give a danger signal through light. That's it. Now getting into the connections of the circuit. We will take a resistor, connect the ground to the negative of the breadboard, put it in black. Next, take this 5 volt supply from the Arduino board and connect it to the positive of the breadboard, put it in red. So, the negative terminal of the buzzer can be connected to the ground and in black color. The positive of the buzzer is connected to any of this digital pin. So we connect it to digital pin 3. Next coming into this PAR sensor, we have three pins, signal, power and ground. So ground is connected to the negative and given black color. The power supply is given to the positive and given in red color. This signal pin is connected to the digital PWM pin. It can be any pin. I connect it to pin number 8 and we give a different color to this. I give orange. Next connecting the LED. This is cathode. This is connected to the negative and given in black. This positive terminal is connected to the seventh pin and I give a different color for this. I give it as pink. So that's all with the connections. Next we'll get into the coding part. Click codes here. We can delete this. So first in order to read the sensor value, we'll create a variable. This can be the sensor value. Now this created variable should read the value from the PAR sensor. So for this set the sensor value first. The sensor value is set to the 8th pin. So get into input read digital pin. So copy this here and this is 8th. So the sensor value will be read from the 8th pin of the Arduino board. Next, in order to read this, choose this print to serial monitor. So, the serial monitor should read this sensor value. The sensor value will be taken from the 8th digital pin. Next, we need to set the condition. For that, we choose this control. So, we have two conditions here. For that, we will choose if and else condition. Next, we will choose the mathematical formulation to set the control. So, we choose this and put it here. Now we can set the condition. Get into variable, choose the sensor value. Now if the sensor value, choose it to be equal to 1. 
because here in PAR sensor we have only two conditions. Either an object or a person is present or not. We don't have a range of values. So it can be either 0 or 1. That is whether a person is present or not. So 1 states present condition, 0 states no one is present. Under this condition, when someone is present, the buzzer should glow and this LED should glow. So these signals are connected to pin number 3 and pin number 7. So here we can set these pins, 2 pins, pin number 3 and pin number 7. Both these should be put in high position. So both will glow. Else, that is if the sensor value is equal to 0, is not 1. Then what happens? Set the same pins to low condition. 3 and 7 to low. So I think that's all is the coding. First, we take the sensor value to read the digital pin 8. Then we try to see it in the serial monitor. Now, if the sensor value is equal to 1, then the buzzer and the LED will be in on state. If not, the buzzer and the LED will be in off state. That is when a person is present, then the buzzer will be alarming and the LED will be glowing. If no one is present, then both will be in off state. Check whether everything is correct. Now let's start the simulation. In order to view the serial monitor, click here. So you can see here when there is no motion by a person or an object, the serial monitor will be zero and you don't have any sound here. No LED glowing or no sound from the buzzer. Now if there is some motion by a person or the object, you can notice. Then your serial monitor shows 1 and you will be having a alarming sound as well as the LED will be glowing. So this is how a theft alert system works. When there is movement in the restricted area, you will get the alarming sound. If there is no movement, then there will be no alarming sound. This is how a security system or a theft alert system works. Thank you for watching this video. If you find this video to be useful, kindly subscribe it and share it with your friends. And don't forget to click that like button because that motivates me to post more videos. To get immediately notified whenever I upload a video, don't forget to click that bell icon. Thank you once again.